you're basically robbing from your children the ability for them to learn this roll up our sleeves and pitch in mindset. What's up, guys? Jeff and Jeremy here. Another episode of Five Minute Fatherhood. Uh, fun topic for today, uh, chores and why they're good for kids and actually why the science backs this up. Now, I don't think we have time to go on to the nuance of this discussion in five minutes. And what I mean by that is like for money, for not money, et cetera. We're not talking about that. I'm not talking about allowance. I don't think maybe and maybe Jeremy, you will. But I think what we're really talking about um, here is just the general idea of kind of a teamwork mentality and kind of weekly yeah. rhythm of uh, not just the mom and the dad cleaning the house, right? That that, that everyone contributes yes. to the sustainment of the is sustainment a word. I don't think it is sustaining force <laughs> or nature of the house. Um, and that yes. is like the, the data backs that up. Now there is different things to talk about with the money and all that. We, per, we, we aren't a big fan of that, of the, the pay for chores thing. Uh, we don't do that because I think this is why we're going to get into, we want to see show that no, no, this is what it means to just be on this team. What it means to be on this team is to contribute. Right. We're not doing this for a financial gain or anything. Now there's other things and side projects. Well, one, one great way, and a friend even does this, and we'll do this now here soon once our kids get a little older, is a great segue, by the way, just for real practicality of like, yeah, the general, like whatever it takes to run the house, we're all doing that together for free as a team, work together, blah, blah, blah. But there's kind of like almost side projects that are bonus. That's like, hey, if you want to exert some extra work, you want to go do that yard thing that does that is not a chore that doesn't need to get done. And you know, and we want to negotiate about that. That's a whole different story. And those ones are financial. So that's kind of a fun both and that I think I see a lot of people do that's really helpful. Um, but yeah, what would you, what would you, what would you say, Jeremy? And what, where do you think this conversation is necessary? Yeah. Well, you guys, it's, it's so important if you feel at all, even the tiniest, tiniest twinge of guilt, when you ask your kids, I need you to clean the kitchen, you know, I yeah. need you to help me wash, wipe the toilet. I need you like, I need you to vacuum, you know, the living room. Then yeah. it's that really shows important you a for you to, to, yeah, to stop for a second and think you guys, you are doing your kids a favor when you are absolutely insisting that they they help with chores, yeah, and this is so clear, consumers. you guys. But it's it's fun to see science back this up. Um, Rachel from our homeroom, she she posted a a TED talk, and and it was basically describing uh, a study that looked at homes in which kids were required to do chores and homes in which they were not, and their future success. And so the study found that professional success in life, which is what we want for our kids comes from having done chores as a kids as kids the early the earlier you started the better um, roll up your sleeves and pitch in mindset a mindset that says there's some unpleasant work someone's got to do it it might as well be me that's what gets you ahead in the workplace so it was interesting to watch you know the whole article was about how to help kids succeed professionally in the workplace um, but I thought it was really helpful that they they did a scientific study ar around this, <clears throat> and and I think that that oftentimes as parents, again, we can feel a twinge of guilt, particularly for really unpleasant chores, and think, well, I should do that, and and you're basically robbing from your children the ability for them to learn this roll up our sleeves and pitch in mindset. It is so important for kids to feel that. Now, of course, if your goal is to help your kids become amazing fathers and mothers, this is even more important. Yeah. So this whole study was about the workplace. But man, if your kids basically say, I don't, I don't know how to force myself to do unpleasant chores, imagine what kind of father or mother they're going to be, right? So um, it's really, really a big deal, you guys, that, and I like how they said, as early as possible, have that two-year-old help you unload the dishwasher, have that three-year-old help you set the table, help that, help that four-year-old wash dishes right next to you at the, uh, at the kitchen sink, like get them engaged as early as possible in doing chores and don't feel guilty about it. And one of the things that they mention at the end of this article is there is a drawback. It's that having your kids do chores doesn't necessarily wind up being less work for you as a parent. And so for a lot of parents, we avoid this because it's more work to have our kids help us, particularly when they're really young and kind of helpless and they almost do more harm than good early, early on. And this is another area, you guys, where um, it's really for them. It's like you're, to love your kids. And if you train your kids well, very quickly, they will begin to help for real. Uh, and so there is a season or where you're training your kids where it may feel like more work, but do not let that get in your way. Um, of really doing the challenging work as a parent, parenting your kids by making sure that they they have a they, they really know where they go in their own heart, in their own head 
when they're trying to figure out how do I just get myself to do an unpleasant 10 minute task. <laughs> um, and I watch my kids just struggle with that. And it's not easy. Like you can tell, like there's a, you know, there's, I just had this conversation yesterday with, with Kyra. I'm like, Hey, can you clean the kitchen? And she's like, no, <laughs> you know, she was like really it's like a mind um, blowing completely. Yeah. She was like, and I, I was like, I could have easily said, Hey, no, don't worry about it or I'll do it. Um, but I'm like, that's not good for her. Like, yeah, I know she's like, she's in a really, really cozy position. She's in the middle of a game and this is probably the perfect time for her to learn to like pop up and spend 15 minutes cl- cleaning the kitchen. Like, again, it's a gift to her. Totally. Um, and it's, it's hard as a father or mother to do that, but I don't want you guys to, um, because you've culturally been conditioned to feel guilty anytime you're, you're asking or are insisting that your children help around the house, that you think you're doing something that's injurious to them. That's, that's not, that's clearly not the case. Um, that's just, we know that through common sense. We know that through the Bible, but we even know that through this scientific study. So you guys really make sure your kids are helping around the house and help, help them, figure out how to overcome that resistance to doing unpleasant work. 